Welcome back everyone and yesterday we did a live stream where we talked about Zen 3, our expectations and what all they showed. Now the one thing I did miss and we talked about it in the post wrap up was the performance data shared for Big Navi. So we're swinging around to take a quick look at that ahead of the full reveal. So what AMD showed off was what we expected with Zen 3 and it does look very promising, albeit a bit pricey and definitely aimed for enthusiasts. But bigger still was that AMD also gave us our first tease at the performance of its next generation Radeon RX 6000 series Big Navi graphics card. Now the GPU was shown running a few select titles at 4K resolutions and the performance definitely looks promising. Now AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su not only gave us a look at the massive flagship which she referred to as the Big Navi graphics card, but also showed us a few benchmarks of the card running at the highest possible settings with 4K resolution. The titles include Borderlands 3 running on DX12 badass quality, Call of Duty Modern Warfare DX12 again on ultra quality, and Gears of War 5 which is more lovingly referred to as Gears 5, running on DX12 ultra quality settings. Now in all three titles, the big Navi card delivers a buttery smooth 60 plus FPS as per the benchmarks demonstrated by AMD. Now AMD used their Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPU, specifically the Ryzen 9 5900X to run the benchmarks and too well. It's great to see that AMD has a solution for gamers that will be offering top notch performance later this fall. As per the previous rumors, the Big Navi graphics card is reportedly known as the Radeon RX 6900 XT and is based on the Navi 21 GPU. Now, for comparative measurements, the performance looks really close to Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card, which is very impressive for AMD to hit. And if they could bring price of the Big Navi graphics card right at around $499 to $599 US, then they would definitely have a killer 4K solution on their hands. Now, you didn't think that we would just end it there and at least not talk about a bit of comparison points against that existing RTX 3080. And for those numbers, well, real quick, we have to do it through a disclaimer that the numbers up on the screen, it's important to remember that the performance numbers that I have for the RTX 3080 are running on the 3900X and not the 5900X. And while at 4K gaming is usually less dependent on the CPU performance at a point, it could still very much come into play. Now, Borderlands sees a neck and neck tie when it comes to using DX12 badass settings, but switched the RTX 3080 over to DX11 and that's itself a 5% lead coming in at 64 to 65 FPS. Not a big deal, but it's definitely there and worth considering. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a bit harder to put up next to each other, but our testing showed the RTX 3080 breaking 100 FPS in our testing scenario, which is a 15% overshoot over Big Navi. However, when we get to test Big Navi in the same scene, we'll have a better understanding of those performance where they stand against each other. Now finally, Gears 5 Ultra setting put at 4K puts the RTX 3080 pulling 78 FPS average, equating to 7% lead. Now for those anticipating the RTX 2080 Ti plus 15% performance for Big Navi, well, those numbers indicate about a 20% boost instead of a 15%, which is a good number to see. Now the real question for Big Navi that we have is this. Well, pricing will be key and we're not far off from finding out when we kick off another live stream to showcase on the 28th. So if you wanna see the similar thing that we did for the Zen 3, but for the new Radeon 6000 series, join us here on the channel on October 28th for a good live stream and we'll see you there. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.